Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope you guys have been following that For the Culture Live, man. I'm your host, Nick Alexander. Joining me today, co-host. Ah, ah. Oh. My man sipping on some agua. Ah, yeah. It's your boy, Ty Sterling. Yay, yay. How you feeling today, Ty? I feel good. Um, I was parched, but my thirst has been quenched. Shout out, Shout to, out our, to Paul. Our, Pause. Our, our sponsor. Pause. Not like that. It's water. Kirk, Kirkland sponsors us. <laughs> they don't they don't sponsor us. Um we're looking for sponsors though. Shit, let's get some money up in here. For real, dog. Uh <laughs> uh what else has been uh, going on? Um catching up with you, Ty. So uh yeah, I don't know if you heard the freestyle that Tyler the Creator did on Flex. Oh, the 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 really gay one? Yeah, yeah. That shit was great though. It, no, he no, he it was, all right. The the face he kept making, like with the hot bus sex, and then he would just like act like he's thinking, like <laughs> Hmm. Did you see Flex's face? Yeah, he was like, he's like, yo, pause. Pause. What made you come up with that line, though? Free rock him, free <laughs> rock him. Hold in Sweden, ASAP. Look at the ASAP rock and my ASAP. Like, yo, uh, it's super gay. But if you go on YouTube and type Tyler the Creator on, uh, on Hot 97 Flex Freestyle, he I'm, just killed that shit. But he was trolling it, and he was making Flex super uncomfortable. I think that's just where we're at in today, where we just can just play with the with the uh, lines a little bit more, like whatever we could say in rap. Because like raps implying homosexuality or activity, that's not new. Like we yeah. always kids always do that. Like when you amongst yourselves, we you amongst your friends, and just say like a bunch of gay raps just to be funny. But now that I it's say a lot of gay shit to you. Yeah. Last week I asked to kiss you. You told me no. I yeah. was offended. I'd turn a that bit, shit down, nigga. That's right. All these years, I know you. I can't just get a peck, but it's all right. Yeah, man. Put your peckers away, okay? Put <laughs> <laughs> your goddamn peckers away. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, people have always been kind of doing that, like, in silly. So the fact that, like, we actually have a really good rapper who spits some actually some dope raps, but just, you know, like I said, the subject matter uh, uh, lend itself to homosexuality. It was funny and creative at the same time. And I just think that there'd be more. I think he opened up the door like more guys might just do that just for the shits and giggles. But I mean, it shouldn't be like deflected or of any sort. Yeah. Like we should just be like cool with it. Like you know, whether he means it or whether he doesn't, it's just like yeah, all the raps good. Yeah, you know? it like yeah, exactly. This is how I feel. Like if the bars is good, who gives a fuck? You know, what I mean, I remember when yeah. Frank Ocean came out, his game like ah, never listen to his music again. Yeah. Ah, shut up. Now Frank Ocean's good, man. Before I mean, you found out he was gay, you were we singing all his shit. Yeah. Same thing with horses in the back. Every fucking person, well, everybody fucking singing a song. As soon as they find out he's gay, oh, I'm not singing that fucking song anymore. Oh. The, the, the song's not about horses in the back. The horse symbolizes a dick, and the back is the butt. And it's a song about butt sex. It's like, no, it's not, they, nigga. People's getting philosophical It's just a gay dude. Sex. Yeah, it's just a gay dude singing about. Having a fucking horse. In a stable. That's it. He, he, he wears a cowboy hat, people. What more huh. were you expecting from him? They're um, just trying to break shit down too much, trying to be too woke. Let's, let's congrats, uh, congratulate Lil X, though, because uh, the Old Town Road is now the uh, all-time uh, most consecutive weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. It beat out um, the long record of Mariah Carey and Boyz II Men's One Sweet Day. They had the original record, and that I was fucking, in, like, 95. I fucking believe it, because that motherfucker is on every fucking radio station, every, everything. Are you sick of it? Are you- I am, dog, I am terminally ill of it. Damn, that's harsh. I hear that shit again, I might die. I hear it too much. It's not even a bad song. I just hear it too fucking much, dog. It's the number one song of all I've time. Had, I've had enough. I've the had enough. Think about all the, all the great number one songs we've had. That that one is the longest. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's and, hard to do. And I'm not gonna lie, I I like the kid. I want him to do well, but I just don't know how long he's gonna last in the music. Do we want more black country in our genre? More you know, black country music? Do we want like another wave, like more wave of these black artists who do yeah. country, who can do country? Yeah, trap? fuck with it. But I, the, I honestly, country trap. Yeah, yeah, country trap. Because honestly, I don't believe it's country because of the beat. Be, but the this, guitar is redeeming. You have you have the guitar in there, but. If I throw a violin in my in my in my hip hop video, does that make it classical music? Mm, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, good cause, point. Because he has country vibes too, but then like you throw the 808s in there, you know what I mean? Like with the bass oh, you and shit like that. Shit now, this nigga like, saying 808s. Yeah, well, you know my yeah. brother put me on. So. Right, right, right. You learned but, uh, te- terminology. 
Yeah, so you throw like a couple snares in the 808s, and then like it, it literally sounds like a hip hop beat, but he's singing like this. So it's like the twain is in it. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Like, yeah, I, I mean, just like how there's certain rap songs that has a lot of jazz elements, but that don't yeah. make it jazz. But you so, know, but I'll confused. definitely take country rap trap. Rap is all about infusion, though. Yeah, I'll definitely take country trap. Country though. trap. We heard it here first. That's country trap right there. Yeah. Any other music you you been bumping? Man, speaking of music, Drake has pulled off the biggest heist of all time. Yeah, why is everybody getting, giving Drake shit? I saw that on my Twitter timeline. Like, he why just is put out some get... music, right? Care Package? Nigga. What's up? That is the equivalent of, you know how every year Jordan comes out with a, a new Jordan sneaker, but really it's just a re-release? Mm. That's exactly what he did. So he took like some of his songs off his old mixtapes that people already listened to, some shit off his old album that people already listened to, and he just basically made a playlist out of like the the best songs. So was, there's no new records. No. I did see Free Spirit, and that was my jam with Rick Ross. That was an old collab of theirs, and, but that wasn't it. on any albums though. That was like a um, mixtape or maybe just like a song. yeah. And he just threw all that shit. And it's called Care Package, right? Yes. You ain't fucking with the Care Package. Nigga, I already fucked with it. Like, what, what, what more do you want? Somebody was saying that people calling it Drake put out. Uh, now that's what I call music volume twenty. <laughs> Basically, it's just a playlist, dog. Okay, so and, no and, new music. And, no, and it's fucking number one on the fucking charts, dog. It's a heist. Well, ten years. I mean, that's about enough time to put out a compilation of your. And it's not even greatest hits. It's just like more your underground. Who puts stuff. out a greatest hits while you're still going though? Well, well, we can't even say it's a greatest hits. It's more like just uh, he he, he took out stuff that people like, but that weren't really like hit records because they're not like big hits, right? Most of them ain't, right? No, nah, no. Nah, nah. Well, then, well, yeah. How about now? Cause I'm up right now. Ah, uh, okay. That, he, was that was on there, and yeah. I I don't even like Drake, but I love that song. <laughs> I don't like it, but I like. If you think back, you probably have a lot of Drake songs you like. Oh, fuck yeah! You just don't buy. You don't I just don't with like the him. The personality. I just don't like you him. Don't, you ain't dog. fucking with the nigga who says chips with the dip. I don't fuck with anybody that constantly steals other people's accents. He is an accent stealer. What do you mean, like what? He did the whole Jamaican thing, right? That's part of being in Toronto, though. Bro, have you been to Toronto? Yes, you remember I went to Toronto last year. All right, so you see how the culture is there. It's, very it's not like that, bro. It he is. Was, he was he he did the whole UK thing, right? And then he did the uh he did the Jamaican accent, and then uh, <coughs> and then uh, there's a huge Caribbean population in in Toronto. Like he has like spots where you probably hang out with is a bunch of Caribbean centric. Yeah, I'm telling you, Nick. Hold on, pause. My man Tricks was a comic there. Like he knows Drake. Are you done? He know he knows them. Okay, we grew up around Cubans, right? Do you see, do you hear me speaking like a Cuban, Nick? But you do mock Spanish people sometimes, for when I, for comedic when, effect. For comedic effect, not to fucking put it on my album and make money off of it. It's I mean, not it's not the same. He's it's not smarter not, than us. It's <laughs> not the same, Poppy. It's not the same. Not the same. It's not the same. Okay. It's not the same, dog. It's not. So you think he goes too hard with the Caribbean? He's a thief of the culture. That's what it is. He's a culture thief. But if he grew up with those people... He's a culture thief. He can't be a culture thief if he grew up with that. Nigga half white. He's stealing. He's stealing. He's a stealer. And what's the black I don't walk. Doing? I don't walk around speaking like a Jamaican, bro. I'm Haitian. I don't walk around speaking... I love Jamaicans. I like Jamaican food. I like their accent. And if I could do the accent and I, and I could be acting... The reggae? I dance it. I enjoy it. But I don't mimic it. It's a difference. I'm saying if he got the niggas in his circle who do talk like that, like so, it's just like you know, it's like it's like when you're around Miami and you going like, whoa, whoa bro, do do do, and you get into the Miami ism. Yeah, but that's, that's the, Miami. That, that's that's Miami the only slang. That's not Toronto. Do you don't slang, do it everywhere though. It's just it's just it's just a, a, a um, not even a culture thing. It's like a a, a neighborhood thing, because like like in that section of Miami, right when you run them element, you'll talk a little bit like that, no. I'm not. I'm not. You're not gonna get on board. No, man. Tony's just. He's dismissing me. I'm, I'm, I just. I just can't do it. I. I, I can't. What I other accents did he do? I know he did the UK. He did the Jamaican. Damn. I, fuck. He, what was that? That was on accident. What the fuck was that? Yeah. He did the UK. He did the <laughs> Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga no. just straight up like I, he caught the spirit of some Jamaican. That, I don't know how that happened. You got, the, you got the UK. You got the Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that where did that come from, Tony? It's been in you. Stop stealing out here, man. I think it straight got possessed for a second, yo. Oh my god. <laughs> I know he's done other action. I just can't think right, of it. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I get it. 
it, 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 that does it's just not appealing to you. Yeah. But um, but don't yeah, get me wrong. I, yeah. Don't get me wrong. What's up? He makes great music. Yeah. I I cannot discredit his music. Yeah. You know what it is about Drake that I think I don't like? What's up? It's not even him personally. It's his fans. Mm. They overhype shit that does not deserve to be overhyped. Like this playlist. The oh my god. Ball. We've been waiting Drake, for this. We've been waiting. I'm like, bitch, it came out already. You can get you can have it. It's, it's already been out. YouTube it. All the songs are there. It's been out. All right. You just nutted in your pants for some shit that already has been out. You already had it. Yeah. You had access to it all along. That shit just makes me mad. And I'm sure you argue with a lot of Drake fans in Miami. Oh, my God. It, it's so bad to the point, like, whenever he drops something new, they send it to me. Because they know it pisses me off. Hilarious. He never put out. I thought we were, we were going to get music after the Raptors won. He didn't put out anything. No, nah, he, right? he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. That's curious. I thought he would have had, like, something ready to go. Like, well, it's, it's... well. His Ghost Rider's on vacation. So, you know, you guys... Don't be really... taking shots at Drizzy like that. I'm just saying, dog. That's another thing, dog. I don't know how much shit he actually wrote. I mean... I'm not on. I'm not going to discredit him, but I don't know. I don't know. You don't remember in Take Care when he talked about how he lost his phone and had a whole bunch of shit in there? <laughs> and you know what I also remember? What's up? During the fucking... Um, during the push of T beef, how he was supposed to come out with a song, a, that, a song that was supposed career. to end his career, and that's what, um, you know he didn't want to do it like that. That's what Uncle what's that? Dennis? Um, Dennis? That's what uh, not Uncle Dennis. That's uh, Kawhi's uncle. Nah, uh, Prince. Prince. Jay Prince. Jay Prince. Jay Prince. That was so weird. man. That's crazy. That, that was the summer last year. But no, actually, it wasn't even the summer because the this records happened. We were like, oh damn, it's over for Drake. And he put out one of his best albums ever. Yeah. And that shit just like, okay. Yeah, you, you took that L, but the nigga's still on top. Oh, yeah, 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 of course, of course. You heard you, you heard what uh, Rick Ross had said about 50? Oh, because he's doing press run because he just put out an album, right? Yeah, because they, they were asking Rick him. Rick Ross is great, man. Oh, God. I didn't like Rick Ross his first, when he first came out, like when uh, the, the Trina song, when uh, all about the Benjamins, like, he's going to put me up in the game now. Yeah. Doom, doom, doom. And yeah. He, his voice changed, too. No, but I always liked Rick Ross the best since Push It to the Limit. Yeah. Port, Port of Miami. Miami. Yeah. Port of my kid. <laughs> no, I freaking love Rick Ross, dog. Yeah. I don't even like South rappers like that, but Rick Ross, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Somebody had the nerve. <clears throat> He's one of the dopest. Somebody had the fucking audacity to fucking tell me that Kodak Black is who put Miami on the map. First of all. Yeah, all right, you're disrespectful to the history of Miami. First rap. of all, Miami you, has actually a, a good lineage of history. First of all, you skipped over Uncle Luke. You start with Uncle Luke yeah, and, you, the, and Two Live Crew. Yeah, you start with Two Live Crew and Uncle Luke. Then you go to Trick Daddy and the Slip and Slide Records. And you know Trina, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and Trina. You remember Take It to the House? Uh huh. Okay, shut up. Yeah, you know what and mean? Pull Over. Yeah, it, in the all, late 90s, all, early 2000s. All of that shit. Too. And then when it died down, Rick Ross resurrected. And Pitbull. Yeah, Pitbull too. Yeah. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide, yep. And you know why they call him Mr. Worldwide? Because all his songs be everywhere in the world. Thank you. Yeah, nigga was a street rapper who could spit. Pitbull, yes. I remember when Pitbull was doing like, uh, y'all niggas can't fuck with uh, About It, About It. Yeah. Not About yeah. It, About It. Um, um, y'all can't called? mess with. Uh, Y'all niggas can't mess with us. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. He had that song called Miami. Miami. Yeah. Um, and, w- and then he came on the Welcome to Miami remix. Yes. And then, listen. You want to know how Pitbull got put on? Lil John. Not even that. You want to know how he got discovered? There you go. You want to know how he got discovered? He would call Power 96 every day, right? Because they would have, like, you know, the callers call in. And he called and they finally answered. And he was live. And... You remember the old Nokia phone and like the, the ringtone? Yeah, dun, 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 oh yeah, dun, I that. Dun, 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 dun. They said, "Oh, you want to be a rapper? Freestyle to this." So they put the ringtone on, and that nigga freestyled for like a good like two minutes, wow. two three minutes and to he that. Got called to the station. Yeah, and he got called to the station. Wow. That's how he got discovered. Yeah, I remember hearing him on those street records, and then yeah, once he got on a, like he got on a Lil John song, and then they just started collaborating, and then that shit just took him off, and he just milked that whole other direction of the uh, hip hop, but like good dancing and uh-huh. vibes and wearing suits, and yo, this nigga's fucking killing it out here, yeah, man. That Shout nigga's out to incredible. He yeah, and incredible. then so yeah, you got Ross Pitbull, who else? Florida had his uh, time. Pretty Ricky. Well, not they. they, they well, they some of them rap, but Pretty Ricky. Florida. So, oh yeah, Flo Rida, another Flo Rida, dude who yeah. went international too with with with, with popular yep. fun rec, rap records. And, yeah. and if we if we're gonna just talk Florida, we're not even gonna talk Miami because Kodak's not from Miami. Florida, you got Wiz. You go T Pain. 
Oh, yeah, let's give it up for Tallahassee, yeah. T-Pain's in the hip-hop move. So, oh, a little bit of Ace, what's not, um, Khaled was working with him. Ace Hood? Uh, Ace Hood! Ace Hood! He's a little bit of, he gets a little bit of play. Yeah, he's from Deerfield. Yeah. 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 Come on, man. Yeah. You, Kodak is Kodak is good. Years. He's good now, but he didn't put Florida on. Yeah, Stop. and then you got to give a shout out to some of the underground legends like Iceberg. Oh, yeah, Iceberg. He's still on his way. He's still on his way. Still Iceberg. On his way. Iceberg, ball greasy. Ball greasy. Uh, Piccolo. Piccolo. Uh-oh, He's pick it to the low. Miami uh, rappers. Uh, uh, uh-oh, pick it to the low. Uh, and then uh, rest in peace, uh, uh, Bizzle, Naked Hustle. Okay. I'm a stripper. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is my life. Yeah, we give you the whole hey, Miami hey, hip-hop hey, history right hey, now hey. with the dancers Wu-tang that come. Wu-Tang, what it? Yeah. It's Wu-Tang, the bop with your boy. Yeah. Come on, man. They, right now, currently, I see my sister. My sister went viral a couple weeks ago. With, uh, oh yeah! The whole video. Yeah. It was, whoa! It was like a whole bunch of Haitians in the house. Who? What, who was the dude? The older one. The yeah, kid? that was her. That was her stepfather. That's Bobby though. Oh no! Man. <laughs> the, the funniest one, because he was the one that did the war with, and then he did the girl shit. He was like the post. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that was though. funny. That he was killed funny. that shit. Yeah, that shit got like a hundred thousand hits. Yeah, it did. It, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. Shout out to my sister going viral in these streets. Axels. Uh, she she actually know a couple of people that I know, and it's funny because I saw my my homeboy retweeted it. Right, I was like, "How you know her, dog?" He's like, "Oh, that's my homegirl." I was like, "It's your homegirl." I was like, "Sell, you know this guy? It's your homeboy." Home He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "How y'all know each other?" He's like, "From school." I said, "Oh, uh, okay." Yeah, I'm gonna follow him. <laughs> Tony is definitely the big brother in the streets. He's like, make sure what's going on. I'm I'm just not that way, but Tony holds it down for me on <laughs> to make sure you know niggas ain't get fucking with my sister in the wrong way. Um, Miami's crazy, fun, such a, f- a fun scene. Yep. Yeah, we had a lot of fun, dog. Um, yeah, maybe, I, I like Ross, man. Ross been holding it down. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's never he's always consistent. What else? Uh, oh, so this is what I was saying. He was talking about how um, how I think. Somebody in the camp was doing a, a song with somebody that he had beef with or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And he said, like, that shit is in the past. I'm cool with it. And he's like, like, I think, uh, like, Meek had hit him up. Or, oh, he had did a song with Drake mm. when Meek was still in the beef with Drake. Mm. And he's like, man, listen, man, it's money moves. You know what I mean? And Meek understands, like, he's not hating on me about it. You know what I mean? So we cool. Right. And he's like. He's like, it's just like vice versa. If I had beef with somebody, if Meek hit me up, say you wanted to do a song with 50 Cent, that's cool. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it because, you know, he's not that guy anymore. You know. Um, right, he took a little jab at 50. Yeah, because he was like, yeah. he's like, if it's going to make money, yeah, let's do it. Because he's like, 50, he's like, you don't hear about this guy putting out music. You know what I mean? All you really hear about him is his internet shit, which is true. But then again, like, he has power and, and all that he's, stuff. Man, this, yeah, he got, yeah. He's, he's working. Yeah, he did come out with a song with uh with 6 9 and uh, Casanova. That song was, was good, though. That yeah, video it, was but, dope. But I think, wasn't it for Power? Did it, well, they put the video at the end of Power, so, like, yeah, they, so. they launched it. He used the Power as the launch pad. Like, the song went, when Chris Brown with Bitch, I'm the Man. Yeah. Like, they themed that around Power. Like, they, they released it on Power, so, he, you know, it, which is a smart avenue because it was, you know... I mean, oh. none of these songs have been like 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 super hits or whatever yeah. like that. But you know, people, the fans still fuck with Fifty's music. Yeah. It's weird. Fifty Cent's music situation got really interesting because it's like his music doesn't transit on the radio or whatever like that. But like the fans of his still will you know eat that shit up, and it's not get, bad music. Get rich, die trying. Oh my god, that is a classic. It was, that, a that was such album. a monster. It's even it's okay that he hasn't been a relevant rapper in like yeah, five years. It, it's like. Track after track. As far as like, yeah, him yeah. like being a top guy, like you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm a big, I, I love Fifty, so I'm not saying it to diss him or whatever, but it's just like, yeah. Tra- Get Richard I try. I remember, I remember that's one of the albums that I actually bought, and I had a CD player. Every night I would listen to the whole fucking album. Yeah. The whole album from top to bottom till I go what to sleep. What was your favorite record of Get Rich? Oh man, uh, it might have been. Mine is tough. It's either between Many Men or You Not Like Me. I like many men, but there was a song with uh him, Lloyd Banks, and Eminem. I need you to pray for me and oh, yeah, I yeah. need you to care for me and I need you to want me to win. I need to know where I'm headed. I'm cause I know where I've been. Flowing blows, question it's nothing. I come up with something. see I know the whole fucking song. Yeah. I know every I know I know the whole song. Fifty Cent verse, Lloyd's verse, Lloyd Banks verse, and Eminem's verse. 
Let me ask you this. Sorry for the yawning. Yeah. Um, I feel way better, though, if, yeah. if anybody cares. Uh, <laughs> do you have albums for specific modes? Like, when you're thinking about wanting to fight a nigga, what album do you go to? Like, what serves, like, the, the purpose of the mood? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you have different moods? Like, when I need to calm down, which rapper or album do I listen to or whatever like that? Honestly, if I need to calm down, I'm not listening to rap. There's no calm down rap for you? I listen to Earth, Wind, and Fire. I okay. listen. I listen to like you know old old shit. You know All what right. I mean, like old shit. Curtis Mayfield, cause the cause like the the cause they have actual bands in their music, right. and like the actual like uh, hearing the instruments calms me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Especially Curtis Mayfield, cause his songs be like ten minutes long, and it's because he always has like a guitar solo at the end. You know what I mean, or, mm-hmm. or or some type of solo at the end. It just it ma- makes me feel good. And I'm like, all right, I'm cool. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. So it's interesting. You don't have any because there's like I, I would I would I, f- I feel like I have a couple calm rap things that I can go to like Tribe Called Quest. And, oh uh, yeah, definitely. But like when I listen to Tribe Called Quest, I'm like I'm not even like trying to calm down. I'm like I be listening to them. You right. know what I mean? I be like listening. You know what I mean? Like I love Tri- Tribe Called Quest. Um, rest in peace to uh, Five Dog. Yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, nice and smooth. Like they have more of the calm down uh-huh. type of beats. Um, and then you got you got you got the far side. Far side, yeah. They're yeah. in that same kind of vein with the uh, cool, mellowed out hip rap. You know what I'm saying? Who What's is, more, are, you, who is it? Is it Diggable Planets? Yeah, they're cool uh, like that. They cool got that like one that? record. Yeah. About that's only one song. Yeah, it's only one song. Yeah. All right. When you trying to like. When you think about fighting a nigga, what's what's the what's your who are your go to artists? Ooh. Um if I was gonna go like new new school, it would probably be like Chief Keef. Okay. Cause I hear don't like get you in a fighting mode. When you hear that boom, 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 mm-hmm. like something else just turns on. Like I'll punch anybody in their face right now. Right. You know what I mean? But if I was gonna go like a little bit older, before like the 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 new generation type shit, yeah, I would probably go. It was probably Pac, and then Fifty. Okay, when sad and depressed or whatever, I go to DMX like slipping and falling. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, I got I your back. I uh, got your back. <laughs> that shit is so fucking hard. Yeah. Oh. No, that I first know. album, yeah. Like I, certain songs when like I said in, in the when you're in the sad, like depressed mood, that DMX shit is just woof. Yeah. Like that song and baby it's gonna be okay. She used to tell me that. The, the song about his grandmother. Mm. Grandma, is I really miss difference? you. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like those two songs, I ain't gonna lie. When I first heard him, I, like, nobody died close to me yet, but, like, I cried. That's good. You know what I mean? Like, it was just, fuck. DMX, yeah, man. Yeah. That guy is such a fucking, I wanted to see the DMX story. Did, did I send you the freestyle? Uh, or, or, or it might have been a private account and you couldn't open it. Maybe. But it was him, Jay-Z. Oh, yeah, that's And, on, and the on security the rock, guard. Rock, uh, Hard Knock Live Tour. Yeah. yeah oh, and, and I think the DVD is called, like, Behind the Scenes or something yeah. like that. But... <laughs> He snapped on the freestyle. Jay Z snapped on the freestyle, and of course the the um, the security guard he snapped. But I think that was a written like he he, he, that, he, he had that locked away. Like waiting two he, weeks. He's uh, like, yo, please, God, please, please throw the, me the, in the there. Nigga like, getting the cipher. Yeah, but like he snapped on it too. Mm-hmm. I love seeing those classic like yeah. videos of just rappers. They ever show you the one with Fifty Cent and, and Nori, like Young Fifty Cent and Nori, like you nah. said Fifty before before he got shot. It's like it's him and Nori and a couple of other cats. Uh, oh. Even consequences in there? Oh, for real? Yeah, because consequence, you know, he was a ghostwriter. He's a, yeah. a ghostwriter for a long time, but back consequence then, is a good rapper. No, he he can't rap. Yeah. He just didn't get the chance to yeah. be a star. But he, you know, he he made he made a living writing. But he's in he's in the cipher. Um, yeah, it's it's, it's Nori when Nori was start, was popping, like when Nori had that first album. And like, what, what, was with, that uh, Super Thug? Super Thug and those. What what what, yeah. what 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 what? And then <laughs> the Young shit. Fifty. Yeah, and um, then uh, yeah, what's what the other song he had? He had um, N O R E. Yeah. Ah, and yeah. Uh, the, uh, yeah. 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 But and did it did it have y'all don't wanna fuck with us? 
Yeah, it, that uh, might that might have been either Nori or the or the uh, the next CNN album when they came. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, oh man, that CNN that. Oh yeah, that, that, that's on Nori's first album. Too. Yeah. Oh my yeah, yeah. god, I remember for like I remember it was that's a classic two thousand nine, right? When like the whole Philly freestyle shit was like popping on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Every freestyle artist would we'll take that beat. Would take that beat. It would be like the nigga, like the camera here, and like the nigga would like with all his homies Hilarious. in the back. He's like, and oh, like yeah. you hear the beat, he's like, uh huh, ah, uh. and like the niggas just start going crazy, and the niggas in the back like repeating the lines, like, oh yeah, yeah, that, that, that shit lives. was just yeah, it was a wild time. That, back that then. was uh, there we go, made for TV. Made for TV. With um, yeah, that was with Jada Kiss. Banned from TV. Banned from TV. J- <laughs> Jada Kiss, Styles P, Cameron. Nature and Big Pun. Was the was the locks on there? Locks, but locks was like two, that's two, the, two of the three, but the not, of, not all of them. But they counted okay. it as locks. Yeah. Yeah, and then Jaden Styles had the back and forth. That yeah. was like, yeah, man. I used to love those songs because they would always be like the most competitive rap songs, yeah. and you always want to see who had the best verse. Yeah. Like, there's been a couple of those, like, like the flavor in your ear, and yeah. whenever there's like five great rappers on the song, and you're like, yo, who, who you think had, who killed it the, the hardest on that song? Like, yeah, it's always tough on those. Um. When you're trying to fuck, which rapper do you go to? <sighs> Who got an album that caters to that vibe? It's okay, man. We no judgment here. As much as I hate to say it, uh, R. Kelly. No rapper. Oh, rapper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what rap? Oh. Yeah. A rapper? Trey Song's not a rapper. Nah. He oh. can rap, but nah, not a rapper. A lot of oh. records from Biggie's album. Second album, Life After Death, they, nah, they kind of never... set a vibe. I ain't never thought about this, dog. Yeah. Damn, I don't know. Juicy J, that first album. <laughs> and no P. And real niggas don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Juicy J's first album was bad. Oh, yeah, that shit had bangers, bro. You know what I found out? What's up? You know that song, All My Life, Grounded All My Life by Nipsey? Yeah. E-40 was supposed to be on that. Oh, what happened? Um... E-40 was trying to finish up a project, and then Nipsey had sent him the song. It was like, yo, I want you to be on it. But he was so, like, busy, and, and like, Nipsey needed it with a hurry up. Like, he, he needed mm, it, like, okay. now. So he couldn't, like, he didn't have time to do it. Yeah. So, like, but to think about, like, the way uh, E-40 raps like this, because, blah, 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 Like, yeah, like, so to hear him on that song, it would, I think it would have went perfect. On I that, think it what I think was that? That was, um... That was E40. That was, that was uh, 40 Water. 40 Water. Mm. Mm. From the Bay Area. Yeah, what do they call it? Yay Area? Yay Area, Bay Area. But yeah, hey, E40 is that nigga. Uh, like, he he is the man. Like, uh, like, yeah. like was, it, was it you that was telling me about him and uh, Biggie? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and how, like, Biggie had to, like, apologize or some shit. Like, yeah, when he came to Oakland. Yeah, because... Because he had lost some points or whatever. Yeah, E40... Is that dude like he had he he runs shit yeah, over there? For sure. Like you can't disrespect that man because they are on your head over there. Yeah, Oakland is him. He the top niggas in Oakland. Oh, yeah. Him, who him, else? him. Uh, Mac Dre. Dre. Uh, too short. Too short. Um, MC Hammer. MC Hammer. <laughs> MC Hammer's another one. I heard he's a gangsta ass nigga. Yeah, he don't um, that shit. Who was it? Somebody had a story about him and MC Hammer and how. Uh, he had to like apologize to MC Hammer because like he didn't know MC Hammer ain't, ain't, ain't play that. Please, shit. Hammer, don't hurt him. <laughs> yeah, like oh, it was a uh, Red Man. Uh. Red Man did an interview. Um, I think he might have been on black? the bre- no, I think it was Breakfast Club. Okay. And <clears throat> he said something about MC Hammer being broke, and then he found out about it, and then um, the niggas in the Bay was not fucking with Red Man, and he had to like you know clear shit up. You had to clear shit up with uh, MC Hammer. It's serious when you go to certain like cities and you you need that pass if you was disrespectful. Yeah. Like, it, it you know you know hip hop shit is just like you gotta know people. Yep. When you go to certain areas, can't be starting shit everywhere and expect no repercussions. Lou Nails from from L. A. Oakland. She from Oakland. Mm-hmm. Cause I was watching a Vlad interview, and she was like talking all about the Nipsey shit, and I'm like, yeah, she in the sh- she's in the know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she must be from Cali. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, yeah, but she's, uh, she's, a, she's a Bay Area. Did not know that. Shout out to Lou Nails. 
She funny too. Oh yeah, she been she been out for a long time. Yeah. I'm trying to think, okay. Motivation. Who what rap what rap do you listen to, like album or, or artist when you when you just wanna feel motivated and get inspired to go do some shit? Well, rest in peace, Nipsey. Like his last album, Victory Lap, now th- that would be my motivation because mm-hmm. Like, a lot of the shit he says, like, he talks about, like, you know, down times and how you just got to keep going. Right. Sometimes you got to sacrifice things, like, you know, to, to get where you want to be. Right. He's like, he's like, you know, you need to learn how to save your money. Get ugly sometimes. You know what I mean? Don't worry about the, don't worry about a haircut. Don't worry about your clothes. You know what I mean? Just be working. And, you know me, though. I always like to be pretty, so it's hard for me to, to do some <laughs> shit like that. But It's hard to reduce the pretty. Yeah, but. But he lives the shit that he said. Because if you look at some of his videos, that nigga Braves was all fucked up. Really? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, the Jim Jones dusties. Yeah, I was like, God, like he wasn't lying. Yo, Jim Jones used to have some dusty ass braids. Yeah, Nipsey, I was, I've seen some early. I seen like an early Nipsey record with uh, Lloyd. And his shit was like all like. Yeah, like yeah. But it was before he had the facial hair, so he didn't. He just wore the hat over it. Oh, okay. No, nah, I, I seen some shit like the one where like the video where you see him yelling at the people that's trying to record him. Mm-hmm. Like if you look at his braids, they look fucked. You know what I mean? But yeah. the nigga, he, he was doing what he had to do to get where he needed to be. Yeah, that's, so, it feels, still feels like it's only been a couple months, man. Yeah. his You know me and him got the same birthday. Oh, really? Yeah. So, so I, it's about to be a sad, a little bit somewhat of a sad. Yeah. So I heard that they, they blocking off uh, the the store. Is the store going to stay open or no? The store's still going to stay closed because it's, it's still so many orders mm. backed up. Oh, I got my sweater, by the way. Oh, I can't wait to rock it. I'm about to. It, no, it came through. It, uh, Pam got it. Oh, so, uh, so they had ordered it to Miami? Yeah, she had got like matching ones and shit. So, uh, so uh, but yeah, man, I'm about to stunt on all you niggas and hoes as soon as I get my shit. I don't know where y'all shits is at, but I got mine. I've been wanting to go eat at so, the Nick Nipsey uh, fish spot. Is that still open? Oh, uh, yeah, the fish spot's still open, I believe. What's it called? Um, I forgot the name of it. Uh, I'll figure it out for you. So Nipsey, somebody from for me it was always, I always got a lot of it out of a, out of a Nas record, because um, mm-hmm. he'll have a, like a couple of tracks that we just be like you know empower do some shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stephanie on the Stillmatic album that had a lot of positive motivational songs, and Godson he had a lot of inspiration behind those things too. Yeah, uh, Nas, yeah, Nas is that guy for me. I'm trying to think of any other moods or, or tones before we wrap up. Man, hip hop is just fascinating like that though. Yeah. You have you have a song for everything. Yeah. You have a song All for everything. All kinds of emotion for sure. For sure, for sure. Um any other artists that you're looking forward to uh coming out with? Music? Uh, who it's been kind of a quiet hip hop year. I don't yeah. feel like there's been too many like I mean Nas Lost Tapes just came out. I was hyped yeah. for that, but like you know, Drake is probably not going to do this year. Mm-hmm. Um, Cole already kind of put out music with Dreamville, so I don't uh-huh. think he's doing anything solo. Kendrick is kind of due, no? You think we yeah, might get a Kendrick yeah, record for the years so. But he just had a kid. Uh, so, so he's going to take his time. So he, And he, he gave us Black Panther. Wait, no, Black Panther was the last time. And Lion King, right? He got some music on the Lion King. I, I believe so. Yeah, he gave us some music. Who else is like... Yeah, well, I got to bump Rick Ross. To see oh, yeah, Rick coming. Ross is coming out with something. He, he's out. I think that's the one I was waiting for, dog, because... Every time Rick Ross come out with some shit, man, I fuck with it. I, I just like yeah, Rick he's, Ross. He's consistent. He, like, I think I could say he's one of my favorite rappers. I, I could say that. A he's per, one, like on a personal top, what, yeah. 10? <sighs> right now? Top five. Today? Not, like yeah, not today. all time. Not today. all time. So who are you your top five mean? today? Top five today. Um, if we're not going to, you know, take away the fact that they not really came out with too much music yet. Uh, Kendrick, he's uh, active. He's he's, yeah. he's still active. Yo, know, Kendrick, Meek, mm-hmm. Ross. Mm-hmm. What's that? Three? Kendrick, Meek, Ross. Um, Kendrick, Meek, Ross, Nipsey. Because I've been listening to Nipsey right, right, right. since Bullets ain't got no names. The first one. Mm. There's not no. There's not no order. Right, right, right. It's just. Yeah. Five. Uh, and the fifth one will probably be. I really, I really like Jay Z, but I just feel like he just he's been around. Like he, yeah, he's still active, but yeah, I get it. If you don't want to go with him, yeah, because you know, like he's active, but not really. Like yeah, he yeah. just he pops up every now and then. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, pick somebody else, nigga. <laughs> and uh, I think, man, that fifth spot. It's tough. Yeah, it, it, it's tough. Yeah, I go with Yeah, you do yours. Drake, I'm thinking about mine. J. Cole. Um, Drake, J. Cole. I, I do kind of have been fucking with every time Pusha comes out with something. Uh-huh. I usually do like Pusha. Uh, that's the thing. I I don't like consume a, a crazy amount of rap like that. I only wait for like certain people when they come back out, and uh-huh. it's like you know. Um, so there's a Drake Cole. I said, uh, who else did I say? I said you said Drake Cole. You said Drake Cole and um. I said Pusha. Pusha. I said um. Hmm. Yeah, cause I l- I like certain guys. I just don't know if I my like top five. It's such a, it's that list thing. I, I, it really does put you in a in a, in a, in a situation. You, you, you got you got to think about. Cause it. I gotta be thinking about who do I love and then who do I like. Oh yeah, they they cool. Like you know. Um, yeah, you, you you yeah. It makes you think. Yeah, it I probably only got think. three. I say I, I really be looking out for they shit when they when they when they come out. So yeah, Drake, yeah. Cole, and uh, Pusha. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I ain't even got two more. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Meg, I think, the, Meg the Stallion, Cardi B. I like Meg, man. I, 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 I probably say Cardi because I listen to a lot of the Cardi music. Um, I feel like Cardi can't fuck with Meg though. As far as like yeah. lyrically, yeah. Uh, I got I got to listen to more Meg. Yeah. <laughs> maybe 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 City Girls. <laughs> My yeah, my number five would probably my nigga. number five would probably be Chief. Chief, Chief. Keith? Keith. He's still putting out a good new music. Uh, uh, the last thing I remember he put out. Oh no, actually, he hasn't put out anything recently. He's been he's been quiet. Yeah. Oh my Takashi before he went out, Takashi had the game. I ain't gonna lie. Li- listen, man. I'm kidding. I'm. I, Hold on. I had to do you know. He made good music. He wasn't. Yeah. His shit was hitting. His shit wasn't trash. It was not the trash. Antics. But he is trash. He is trash. He's, a, he's just, still in jail, right? Yep. He's rotting. He's supposed to be getting out in 2019 with all the snitching that he's doing, supposedly. He's going to get out this year? Supposedly. How, Not 2000, 2020, sorry. Is he going to come out with new music, or you think he's done? Bro, I heard somebody say, a rapper say, uh, Slim 400, who's, uh, who's like YG's right-hand man, he's like, if they embrace this man when he comes out, I'm quitting rap. Because there's no way a snitch... Should be able to get out in this culture. Yes. Y'all, since... Young G, since before Young Jeezy. Oh, I figured out my top five. Ooh. Uh, Puffy's kid, uh, Chris, uh, Justin. Yeah, he can spit. King Combs? He can spit. He can spit and he can dance his ass off. This nigga be holding him shaking in the videos, bringing the 90s shit back. Yeah. They just had a video where he was in a tunnel the other day. Like, he was in the bathroom. Yeah, I see. It looked like, it looked like, the, like, uh, like more money, the, more, the More Money, More Problems video. I mean, he's bringing 90s tunnels back. I love 90s tunnels, yo. <laughs> Have like a wind right there and blowing. Yeah, blowing you know with, with the strobe lights and shit. Yeah. That's what's up. Um, okay. So I hope you guys appreciated the, the, the rap conversation we had today. We hadn't touched on hip-hop in a little bit. So, you know, we just gave you a little bit of Miami history. You know, gave you some some mood music to listen to. Oh, definitely. Oh, when I'm sad, if you, if you want to uh, girl problems or whatever, Joe Budden. Joe Budden? When you having girl problems and you stressful and you struggle relationships, he's got some of the best fucking relationship music ever. Like listen to like those mood music three, four, and the All Love Lost albums. <coughs> he got the he got the best shit about relationships. Just like anger and all that shit like that. When you in that kind of feeling, hit Joe Budden for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. His old right. shit is like that. It's, it's he's he that's why it's weird with the him and Drake thing, because he was the emo mood rapper before Drake kind of thing. And it's oh. like he's a pre he's a predecessor. But well, everything he, was all in the underground. Like, I feel like he be hating on Drake too. He he has a love hate Drake. Oh, okay. But he listens. He loves Drake. He's a fan of Drake. He just always has gripes and he dissects Drake all the time. Oh, okay. But yeah, but mood, if you have mood problems with your girl, whatever like that, or whatever relationships, you go to Joe Button. Um, so I'll, yeah. I'll leave on that note. Uh, anything coming up, Ty? You unplug to the people? Uh, nothing yet. Just uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Keep following at For The Culture Live. Also at Nick of Comedy, man. Uh, August 21st, Sycamore Tavern. If you get your tickets on at Half Half Comedy. The link is in the bio or go to halfhalfcomedy.eventbrite 
Uh, yeah, keep subscribing, uh, rating, downloading for the culture live. I did have something to plug in. Make sure y'all follow me at at Ty Sterling, T Y last name Sterling. Um, I'm gonna be uh, you know putting out some more uh, comedic videos some skits. and uh, some skits, some uh, some acting stuff. You okay. know what I mean? And I also like I'm doing my own like little segment shit where uh, you know I always ask like little questions on uh, on Instagram and stuff, and like people always have their opinions. So engage. So, so I'm gonna like you know share people's opinions anonymously or non anonymously, however y'all want. And I'm gonna probably do it like uh, IG IG video. Okay. You know what I mean? So. So yeah, man, hit up yeah. Tony. You know what I'm saying? He'll go more than happy to answer these questions. Let's keep that conversation moving forward, yo. This is another episode of For the Culture Live. Peace. Peace out.